I'm going to help you understand the five things that you're going to need to know to win the war in the insurance game. Yes, I said war. You want to win, you better look at this industry like it is war. And you, my goodness, will be a beast if you can understand who your adversary is. And a lot of insurance agents think this business is rainbows and unicorns and don't realize it looks like war. It looks like battles. They get beat up, chewed up, spit out, and don't realize the beast within. They can be better than what takes place to them. And let me share with you five tips that are going to help you take it to the next level when you realize that this industry looks in a lot of ways like war, okay? And war is won by how you, yes, you handle the battles daily. So I'm going to drop this content to you, the five things you're going to need to know. And before I go into this, jasonfinalexpense.com, I do recruit, partner, and train agents across this nation. We sell life, Medicare, and annuities face-to-face -face and in the telespace. Free resources on my website for you. I appreciate you joining with me today. But this topic is near and dear to my heart. And let me share with you the five things you're going to need to know. The first thing you need to know is who is your adversary? You want to be amazing? You better understand who's coming after you, okay? And the greatest adversary that you will face, number one, is your own self. Yes, self-sabotage. It takes out so many agents. You want to win the war? You want to find the wealth? You better look at yourself in the mirror every day and make it happen. If you're ticked off, you're not getting the wins, you're not getting things done the way that you thought they would be, it's a temporary battle, not a permanent problem. So understand your mindset. It matters, it matters, it matters. You want to make it, you want to win the war as an insurance agent. It's amazing. It's so much fun. But until you look in the mirror and understand, hello, me, myself, and I, yeah, that's no fun. It makes a difference. You will lose ground some days. Some days you're the bug. Some days you're the windshield. And it's because you didn't believe in yourself at times. It will take place. This business is a numbers game. It just is. Those that do are those that are going to get. And as an insurance agent, you will understand that you will lose ground some days. The agents that will lose the battle will give up. Okay, they will give up. They have one little battle, okay, that doesn't go their way. A simple phone call that doesn't go their way. A chargeback comes in and it seeps like the cold into the mind and it caps you out. You're done. You cannot operate this way. You want to win the war. You want to make it. You want to be a beast in this industry. You've got to get your mind into a better place. This is a mind game through and through. You got to have that mind game tight. Look into that mirror and understand it matters. So don't lose your mind because you lost ground for two milliseconds. You lost ground in one little phone call, one door to door, one, okay, free look, whatever it may be. Find yourself digging deep and knowing that you've got what it takes. So tip number one, your greatest adversary is your mind. You can make it, but self-sabotage is real. It's real in this space, all right? Tip number two, your greatest adversary, okay, number two of the top five is time. Time, yes, I said time. Your clock, okay, your Apple Watch, whatever you got, okay? Understand as a final expense telesales agent, a Medicare insurance agent, an annuity agent, your greatest, okay, gift and your greatest defeat, okay, that you will feel in this war of insurance sales is time. You can use it or you can abuse it. Time can be used to help you get it or time can be used against you because you, yes you, didn't apply yourself right. It is so important that you use your time tightly and rightly. Time is your greatest gift or it's going to be your greatest enemy. You've got to use it properly. Are you going to have time be your adversary or are you going to be in a position where you overcome anything and everything that comes at you because you use your time wisely? You've got only so many hours on your clock. How are you using the hours, right? How are you using the minutes 
and down to even the seconds. Let me share with you, seconds matter on a telesales call, minutes matter in your day, and hours can run through your fingers like water, okay? You've got to contain time, you've got to control time. How you handle this is the difference between you making it, winning the war, or being whooped chewed up, spit up, and beat up in this industry. So tip number one, self-sabotage. When you lose ground, do you give up or do you get up? You wanna be a beast? Get up every day. Let's go, let's grow, let's move forward and never, never, okay, give up. Number two that we're going through is time. If you're taking notes, you can use this gift or you can abuse this gift. The ones that win, the ones that find the wealth in this industry, let me share with you, their schedule is tight, their schedule is right. Let that be you if you want to dominate this industry. So use your time with skill and precision. Just like in war, precision plays a major part of how things get worked and won in battle. And there's days that you have things happen to you through no fault of your own. Do you give up? Do you wave the white flag of surrender? Or do you get after it and do it again? Okay, as an insurance agent, you've got to use your time wisely. Number three, if you're taking notes, you've got to get in a position where you grind and get. Grind and get, okay, get 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 you get to get out of bed today you get to go help people you get to go solve problems you get to go meet needs these sweet retirees need you it's not a sale it's how can you serve them how can you save them from their greatest problems the greater that you can become as a problem solver not as a product pusher a lot of IMOs, FMOs, they're just pushing product. Buy this, buy this, buy this. It's the equivalent of a car salesman. You wanna be successful in this space? Get real good at solving problems, meeting needs. It's what this business needs more of is amazing advocates that grind and get after helping these consumers solve their problems. The pushiness will go away because you're fixing problems. Help that lady with cancer. Help that man or woman that needs medical insurance. Help this family that has nothing in the bank. Have a life insurance policy to pay for burial. What you do matters. What you do matters. What you do absolutely matters and if you forget that you're not going to find success you're going to lose your war and you're going to be done don't be a pushy salesperson help find the problems that your clients your prospects face and then fix it with the product that you have if it's the proper fit so grind and get number three or throw a fit action will solve all your problems if you don't have grind in you you're going to lose your war you're going to get rocked i promise you you're going to get into a place where you feel like you got beat up chewed up and spit out you want to be a beast get up every day grind 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 and get get after what your clients need you to do for them servant based sales platform not this slimy pushy car salesman garbage of the industry okay that abounds a lot of these free frankenstein scripts out there look at them it's like wowzers it's a wear down script it's not high-end proprietary material it's just not so understand who is your mentor who's helping you win the war and wars are won by how you handle these battles on the daily and yes i said daily you've got to be determined you've got to grind every day you can't be this hot and cold and i did it one day great now i give up and you lose your momentum your momentum is huge if you want to make it you cannot stop in war you cannot stop war is won by the battles that you handle daily the battle of self-sabotage how do you handle your mind how do you handle your time take an account of your time are you using it or abusing it how are you grinding are you getting after your clients problems with your products and helping them or are you just selling 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 telling 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 no one's got time for that you're gonna lose you're gonna lose you're gonna lose even if you win temporarily you're gonna lose your war and you're not gonna feel good about what you do and neither will they you may sell it 
but it won't stick and it won't stay. Welcome to the chargeback nightmare. A lot of agencies that are like, team submit, team submit, okay? And they don't tell you about, okay, team chargeback, okay, with the red company, whatever you wanna call it. It's a real deal in this industry. Be careful, sell right by meeting your client's needs. Grind and get, okay, after your client's true needs solution-based sales platform as opposed to slimy, pushy, pushy, pushy. Not good, okay? You're gonna push yourself off a cliff into the chargeback hell that comes into being with a lot of folks. It's not good, it's not good, it's not good. So get after what your clients need from you. Don't do anything less than grind and get after what your client needs from you. That is what this is about, okay? So grind and get or go throw a fit. You're gonna lose the war and you'll definitely lose your battles on the daily if you're not grinding and working appropriately. Action will fix it, fix all your problems. It just will. Number four, if you wanna win the war in insurance sales, okay? You've got to have leads. You have to have leads. It's so important. You've got to win, you got to win. And if you want to win your battles, you've got to have reinforcements, okay? You're going to get shelled. You're going to get told no. You're going to get all these naughty things told to you. It will happen. You're going to get told to go anywhere that's not heaven. It takes place. It's a raw industry. Get used to it. You're going to get dirty, okay? Embrace the trenches of the telespace. Embrace okay, what will take place to you as a face-to-face -face warrior who's helping your client win, helping your client win. You are their advocate. You want to win the war, focus on helping your clients win. But leads are important. Leads are vital to you. You've got to have reinforcements coming in because you're going to get beat down. You're going to go through those leads and you don't have the army of numbers coming to support you. You don't have the army of prospects and it's going to put you out of your battle. You're going to die. You're going to be dunzos, okay, because you don't have reinforcements. Leads are like an army hitting the beach with reinforcements and they keep coming and they keep coming and they can keep coming and you're going to have some of your leads go down. Some of your leads get injured. Some of your leads saying, put me on the do not call list. Some of your leads saying, go to somewhere. It will take place. Your leads do get hit. They get popped. You want to maintain profitability, have a reinforcement of leads on the weekly at the minimum, on the weekly if you want to win the war. You want to win the war, make the wealth in the insurance space, have leads, have leads. You will win or you will lose. Tip number four, buy your reinforcements. Hold the line, hold the line. If you want to win the war, it's the battles that you face on the daily, on the hour, but yes, by the week. Are you bringing in a new infusion of new soldiers coming in and hitting it? Are you bringing in by the soldiers, it's a bad analogy, sorry, Beb, it is what it is, but are you bringing in new leads to reinforce and hold the line? And if you have leads, how are you serving those leads? Are you using good scripting? Are you going after it? Are you helping your clients win? Or are you pushing a product? Be careful, okay, for those of you watching. Hold the line, but you've got to have reinforcements. Your leads will go down. Your leads will be like great on Monday when you get a new batch. And by about Wednesday, you're like, oof, okay, my leads are getting tired, man. My leads, <laughs> they need a rest. Those boys are battling hard, those leads are every day. This is why you've got to have reinforcements, reinforcements brought in, reinforcements brought in yet again if you want to win the war here. The war is won by the battles you face daily weekly. How are you purchasing leads? Ask yourself that question. It's powerfully important to your success or your distress. If you are getting beat up, my goodness, do you even have a battle plan? You will not win, okay? You're not going to win if you don't even have a plan. Just saying, okay? This ain't John Wayne, okay? You're not Chuck Norris. You're not, okay? So you gotta be in a position where you have a proven battle plan. You're gonna get beat up. You're gonna get popped. You're done, okay? Be careful, but you've gotta have leads. You will win or lose by the reinforcements, the real leads that you have at your disposal to dominate for the greater good of your consumer's needs. But you must have leads, and leads are not sales. Leads are an opportunity to bring value, help and hope to these great people that need you, want you, and need you to work for them, okay? You are working for them, not the other way around. So get yourself into a position where you use leads appropriately, but hold the line, keep, and I mean keep buying leads.
keep it coming. You've got to have reinforcements on the weekly or you're going to get rocked as an agent and going, why am I losing it? Why am I not making it? Why am I not making the wealth? Well, yeah, yeah, quit bringing in reinforcements. Simple as that. So number five, the reason that you get jammed up, okay, you get gummed up in your career and you lose the war. Well, you never took a time, okay, to make sure that you break down your sales processes. Are you even following good processes, first off? But even the most amazing, okay, weapon on the planet needs to be broken down, be degreased, degunked. And sometimes you get into a funk as an insurance agent because you never stop, you never get mentored, you never take time to have additional training. And then you wonder, why is this thing jamming up? Well, it's a good main bee a very good piece in your hands, but you never took the time to break it down, strip it down to the bones, and then lube it up, put it all back together, and let it sing, sing, sing like a sewing machine. But if you're in a position where you're getting jammed up, maybe you're getting sloppy in your script. Maybe you're not using a script or using a proven power script like what we use at jasonfinalexpense.com. It's important that you train, you train, you train. You practice more than you play so you can get everything on target. You're going to win the war by being extremely precise, by breaking your processes down, believing that you can do this. But if you don't stop, okay every now and then and clean things up you're going to jam things up and wonder why am i losing why am i losing why am i not making it why am i getting beat up right now well maybe it's a lack of adherence to good proven fundamentals it is so powerful you will never rise to a level that you've never seen if your mentor, your upline, has never made it there themselves. Vet your trainer, vet your agency. It is so vital to your success. There's a lot of places out there, let me share with you, for those of you watching, that would love to monetize you, would love to just blow you up, okay, in your email inbox, blow you up, okay, via text, your phone calls constantly, and all they wanna do is sell you some, okay, who knows what, lead, CRM, whatever the widget may be, okay? Maybe it's a Facebook course, who knows what? Maybe it's a YouTube ad course. There's a lot of this stuff out there in the industry. And my goodness, ask your trainer, how many years have you done telesales? If you're gonna do telesales, okay? I've done insurance and telesales, okay? I have done both, okay? For a combined two plus decades, 20 plus years. I sold by phone yesterday took care of an amazing family, and then closed an amazing an annuity as well, okay? Just in the last two days, I took care of a great family by phone, and then another great annuity, guarded a family. It is powerful what we do, but vet your trainer. You will not rise, okay, to a level that your mentor, your manager, or your upline has never attained. Make sure you're learning from someone that truly does what you desire, okay? You need to be learning from someone that is not a general that sits in the tent all day and tells you what to do, or maybe you've got a general that just nitpicks your presentation, but yet never shows you how it's done and maybe hasn't sold in a long, 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 long time, or maybe never. There's actually managers out there in this space that never made it. So let me share with you, sometimes people that can't sell will manage. It does take place. That's why I say vet your trainer. If you're considering joining an agency, make sure that you're learning from someone that's truly dominated the space so they can be deliberate in helping you win the war, not just a single battle. If you want to be a beast, understand your mind is strong. Use your time right. Get after it. Grind, grind, grind. Buy lots of leads. Leads are leverage. It's huge. It'll help you. I promise you. It'll help you. But don't get sloppy. Tip number five, don't get sloppy. You want to make it? Get on point. Make sure you never get jammed up and never, and I mean never, give up. Action will fix your problems. Action will fix your problems. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope this video helps you win. I hope you like this. Thank you for joining me today. I will always try to give you good content on the daily, but keep taking care of good people. They need you, but understand the wars are won by how you handle your battles each 
and every day. I appreciate you. Have an amazing day. Have a great rest of your week. And my goodness, keep advocating for some amazing prospects. They truly do need you. Don't care what they say. Sometimes they try to push you back negatively in the mind because of one prospect. And what happens is that's poison that seeps into you. Be profitable, be powerful, and never forget how great you are. Hope you have an amazing day. Hope this helps. We'll see you soon.